This guy owned a hobby shop for 50 years. But I had everything. The store was like 3,000 square feet. We bought a small chunk of it a few months back, but now he's inviting us back to buy it all. You all never right. know what you're going to find in this place. It's going to be like go. a treasure hunt today and a days later. Now this hobby shop owner, Ron, has become my best friend in the 80 plus category that's not family. He's awesome and when he closed a few years back, he moved all of his hobby shop stuff into two barns. And for the most part, we or he don't really know what's inside. Bringing back some memories. Yes, last we're back. Time, last time this road brought us to uh, a man with video games. And 1400 knives. What could he have today? We only know that he has roughly 300 boxes of stuff. <laughs> Let's go see what that stuff is. Well, we're learning how to back up a trailer. We're gonna wanna start bringing it a little bit. We're swinging back out here. Hey, keep coming, keep coming. So we arrived at Ron's house, spent an embarrassing amount of time getting the trailer backed up, but we finally got it ready to go and backed up by the main barn. Oh. Yeah, we're all working together now, Ron. Alex just started three weeks ago. Oh, good, good. So, well, hey. You, you helped me get a third person, or a second person. Well, big time, you know? Yeah. Let me open this up. We can start right here. Right I mean, where? <laughs> wow. Start loading. All right. Uh, I did a lot of work on going through stuff because I got uh, some railroad stuff that the guys could want that was, I promised. It's the action I like. You know, you'll know, well, you know, you like action. Oh, I, right? yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. You got action the... figures, you got... Uh... I see more games. What's that? Games. A game right there. Oh, empty box. Oh. You can have it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, there's everything from, uh... Uh, old uh, brass things uh, and also I had some uh, statues made out of bronze and stuff. It's hard to highlight everything that there is in this barn but we're gonna uncover trains, planes, games, 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 cars, rockets, this thing, pinball machine, pressed steel toys, and another barn. So, blow so what's, what's, is, what's off the table? No, nothing. This is all going right. Just the bottom of everything. This everything. Is what Ron doesn't know is that at the end of this deal, we're actually going to be gifting him something that he's been searching for for decades. Now in those boxes on across the top, that stuff a guy offered me ten grand back in the day, but it ain't not now. But yeah. When I had it in a store in a showcase, there was everything in there from uh, story of soldiers, all that. Games. Okay. I thought we brought a trailer big enough. From the moment we arrived, we realized we didn't bring a trailer big enough. Going into this, Ron told us that there were about 300 boxes of items. Now, we expected priority mailboxes like he had used with us in the past. Now, looking up one of these trailers, it has roughly 400 cubic feet inside, and a priority mailbox is 12 by 12 by 8. So, rounding and calling one box one cubic foot, then we should have more than enough space, right? Well, to put it in more complex terms, it ain't gonna fit. I'm kind of at a loss because we expected to get the stuff inside and I don't think that we're even gonna touch that stuff inside. Um, the temperature is also going up. It is getting very hot, very quick. So we're gonna have to act quick and we're already uh, pushing it for time. It took us a while to get here. I mean, you're gonna have to come back. I yeah. Think. I, mean, I don't care, I just, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can with this trailer. Well, there's, I got a hundred boxes out here. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's In addition to this? And, yeah, and this and this. Yeah, there's a hundred boxes over there. Them the three areas. What? What's in those boxes? More same stuff. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. You're uh, you, you're 80. Yeah. So I'm I'm 28. So me and uh, young 52 punks, years. Young <laughs> am I looking at myself in 52 years? If you play your cards right. <laughs> if I play my cards right. Yeah. I think so. I think I'd be all right with this. <laughs> no, I think you guys would be all right. You know, just I, be, I just got to have right. all the outbuildings. Eat your blueberries. I, I eat a lot of blueberries <laughs> and stuff. And cabbage. Comment down below whether you think I'm looking at myself in 50 years here. You right. never know what you're going to find in this place, I guess. It's going to be like go. a treasure hunt today and a days later. Yeah. I think. Okay. So uh, Chase, Chase is in there talking with Ron. Holy crap, I did not expect it to be this much time. No. We have to we have to come back for sure. There's there's no shot that this no. trailer can bring everything. He just showed us oh. this barn and, and this will already fill us up and he's like, Oh yeah, I have a hundred more boxes like, over here. Like there's a lot here. Alright, so Yeah, well I've got fifteen fifteen thousand on me, cash. Okay, I ain't worried about the money right now. So, Let's get it loaded. 
we'll load it and figure it out. Yeah, Sounds we'll good. Figure it out. Yeah. Games. Games. Come over here, look at these games. Oh my gosh. What is that? Games, games, games. I haven't seen one in person. Games. Games. Hiding games on us. Oh, I know how this goes. You find some random thing. Wow. It's games and miscellaneous, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, what's in here? I've got like. Transformers or something in here. Mm. What, what is that? Yeah, that's all Transformer stuff. Yeah. What's in that one? Oh, some kind of uh, uh, poker. 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 Set. poker set. I'm gonna put that back in there. Yeah, I'll put that back in there. That's cool. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. No, you'd have it if I did. <laughs> And wow. I do have a little surprise for you after when you get done. Moving. You got a surprise for me? <laughs> hey, all right. What? <laughs> well, I, I'm going through boxes of games. <laughs> games. Jesus Christ. So, Ron, I got a question for you. Oh, so, you got a briefcase here with stamps. Yeah. And uh, with arrowheads, and I wanted to know the reasoning why. Because <laughs> I games. just stuff it in there. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had 500 arrowheads. Wow. Listen to this. Of course did. Buy 500 arrowheads. Guy comes in, they all in big cases and everything. And I'm thinking, what the did he get all these? You know, these are all my parents that collected all these out west and that. 500 oh, wow. of them. All oh, those are all shark teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you find every, you might find a real shark. Yeah. <laughs> I had a shark mouth. Did you? Know, you? Of course. Teeth. I had yep. that stuff in the store. Yep. What? Yeah. My shop was uh, 3,000 square feet. Yeah. It was just huge. Yeah. And I had every hobby. There's nobody in the whole United States, I don't think. I had every hobby you can do matchboxes, yeah. rocks, uh, every hobby you can imagine. I had it in the store. Yep. You know, models, uh, everything. You know. You want to start stacking stuff out, pal, and we'll just load it as if full you as work we can. That way, yeah. Pack that so I can move more stuff that way. And we'll start over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Alpel, how's it going? Ow, I just hit my head. So you guys remember when Chase bought the game bar and he was like, oh, I won't, I won't need sourcing for two years. <laughs> well, he just added two more to that. <laughs> hey, job security, brother. <laughs> so how long were you selling trains for? Whole time? Like when, Me? Yeah. 50 years. The whole time? Yeah. yeah. 25 years in Mount Clements and a little over 25 years in Richmond. Okay. What was the, the first thing you sold? Like as a, as a kid, I know you were selling stuff before. Oh no, I before. collected cards when I was se uh, coins and cards and uh, comics when I was seven. Okay. Yeah. You know. Would you like buy those and flip them to kids at school? <laughs> well, I was a marble champ. I got it in the newspaper in the news. That's <laughs> right. I remember that <laughs> story. <laughs> Mama called his mom to call. Your son took my son's marbles. Well, he lost them. I was a old bowling champ. I want them. <laughs> that's cool. I owe you that. Yep. No. Yep. That's yours. I appreciate it. No, I those are it. cool. And there's some other marbles around in those boxes. Don't you know? Uh -huh. Those are yours, anyways. Let's get all this GI Joe box. More. Those are standard gauge trains. Now standard gauge was a pretty hot item back in the day. Hard to find. It's the hardest to find of all the trains. Standard gauge. I mean, they're not meant because yep. cost a fortune. There, there's different gauges to trains. There's like stand. Well, is you, it, got, you got you got N gauge, Z gauge, uh, O. Ron, how much cash would you keep on hand to buy stuff from people? Uh, 10, 20, you know. Yeah. I never knew. You know, if it was something I wanted to dump, then I'd go, you know, like coins or something. Yeah. You know. Oh, Darth Vader? Yeah, I didn't get to all that yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you open it. All right. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. It's already up. It's full. Trains for days. About how many trains do you think there are? Well, Games? I honestly got out this box. Probably 40 boxes, 50 boxes, just trains, I think. Wow. Games, games. Trains, trains, trains. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, we're about, uh, I don't know, a quarter of the way done. <laughs> These are 
doing all right. Steam engines. Okay. So nice. Steam engines. I have probably a half a dozen steam engines. That's cool. What is this thing? This is a, is this a wood loader? That's, that might be the coal loader there. The coal loader. Yeah, okay. Coal loader. Now what's in here? The Declaration of Independence? Some kind of map? No, nothing. <laughs> it looked like a tube that uh. <laughs> the Declaration. National Treasure. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Just amount of quality stuff. Uh, what's the dealio? Well, he literally wants us to take everything. That's insane. I, There's an insane amount of stuff. We don't even have a price agreed on. He says, which we'll is kind out. of scary because I know that we're gonna figure it out. We We've done good business with them in the past, but we're just Might loading. Take six up a, months. We're just loading up a trailer. I know. Yeah. So there's all the boxes in here. There's stuff inside in the man cave, and then there's a hundred more boxes apparently in here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fill up what we can today, and we do have a storage unit. We've got a home for them to go, but we're just gonna have to. We'll probably utilize some auction houses. We'll utilize various places, and it's gonna be a journey, man. Like interesting stuff across the board. I just opened a 1960s G.I. Joe box and it's in there, like perfect condition. That's, That's like a, at least a hundred dollars, probably more like two or three hundred just in one random box. And there's stuff like that everywhere. This is insane. We're gonna highlight a bunch of the cool stuff as we go through it. We got some work to do, so let's do it. Holy That's cow. Beautiful. That is shiny. So you gotta look before you sell them because a lot of them may have the tenders with them or whatever yeah. in other cars. So. Yeah. yeah, of course. How many how many employees did you have at the shop? I know better not have just been you. Zero. Zero. It was just you. I did it all myself, babe. What? Yeah, I did oh, it. I did the whole crap. Most stank and barrel do. So, oh my gosh! I, I, moved show, me, I had a guy help me move the showcase. I had thirty showcases. Yeah. There's another bag. Old Pez. Wow. You know, it comes to the right limited seven to seventy five hundred. Igor. Six hundred dollar train. Shoot. Oh, hard, hard wow. to find a That's crane. beautiful. We haven't even gone inside Al Pal. Shut up. <laughs> Ron, I appreciate you bringing out this uh, bathroom for me. <laughs> I, I, I got it ready for you. Wow. Look at this. Ryan, you still doing coin shows? Yeah, I got about 30 a year right now. 30 a year right now? How many? Back from 50. Yeah, I remember you, you were saying that. How many 50. How many do you have left this year? Well, my big show start, I got one this Sunday. Uh -huh. uh, September, uh, from September to February. Okay. We keep asking Ron about coins because the last time we met with him, he told us about the one deal that got away. Guy come in, kind of, Nah, not raggedy, older guy, whatever. Puts it on the counter, I open it up, and I, I think I peed all over the floor. I'm looking at 41 ounce gold coins. Oh my old gosh. Old ones from the oh. 1920s. Jeez. I'm gonna give you 40 grand cash. I think I scared him. Oh, One I ounce gold at the time. 20, 30 grand. So a few months ago, I worked at tracking down one of the gold coins from the 1920s, and I made sure that it was graded by Ron's favorite grading company. Got a pretty good deal on one, ordered it, and I've been sitting on this thing for months in hopes that someday I could gift it to Ron. All right, so there's a box. You see what this one's labeled? Super Nintendo. Moment of truth right Let's here. play. Is there Super Nintendo inside? Oh. Hey, a tin. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever sold? You no know, crazy thing I bought. I bought a, I have a whole constrictor. It's in your boxes in there somewhere. Uh, yeah. The whole, uh, the whole skin. Like the, <laughs> the <laughs> boa constrictor uh, skin? The big crap mouse stank. <laughs> I'm not a fan of snakes, <laughs> right? No, somebody want that. They're rare. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Okay, Alex, we're filling up a lot quicker than we expected. So <laughs> this is, it's going to be, a problem, I think. Turns out 300 boxes is a lot of boxes. Yes, these are bigger boxes than we thought they were going to be boxes. Yeah, they're not, uh, these are not flat rate large boxes. No, so uh, let's get stacking.
squatting down in here. Yeah, you're not, we're like old man crouching at like, all. I'm sure this is an attractive angle, but it's like a my back hurts oh, and I keep hitting my head. How's your head? Oh, it's fine. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. What are we doing today? Uh, you know. Okay. <laughs> we already own these right here. What are they? Oh, <gasps> marbles! Ooh, we should probably uh, put those in the van. Yeah. yeah. Got out the phone for a little up close so you can tell that marbles are handmade when they have, you can see like the, uh, the seam that they finished it off at. Like right here. So you can tell these are all handmade. We bought another marble from Ron that was over an inch. Maybe maybe it was over two inches, and that just sold for two hundred dollars, which was honestly a deal. We just wanted it gone. Looky looky! Oh my goodness! Yeah, those might be. I don't think those ones are handmade. I have those kind of secure. But I could be wrong. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Machine made. Yeah. All right, what up? Check these out, ready? Yeah. Holy cow, are those Zippos? Are those Zippos, Chase? Some of them, some of them are like Lionel Train ones and... What? These are kind of modern, but they're all like cool designs and stuff. That's super cool. So it's, uh, it's 90 degrees yep. and the temperature's rising. <laughs> kind of hot Still. in that trailer there. Uh, how many more trips do you think we're going to take? Like, I don't... I don't think this can be a single thing. No, this won't be a one trip. We're, we're about 75% full in the trailer and still, we might be able to get most of the stuff from there, but probably not all of it. I guess they're already open. This one. Wow. Look metal rods and metal pieces? Yeah, everything. Wow. Underneath, all the other stuff underneath. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of metal in there. Be careful, Donald. Don't drop your bag. Hmm. Lovely. When did uh when did you start collecting coins? Seven years old. Seven years old. Stamps, yeah. coins, baseball cards, comic books. Okay. Oh yeah, I got it. I had all that crap ball store, man. I had dinosaur stuff. Cap guns. Pink kit. Early bird. Oh, it's a shooting game. A bunch of old. I huh. liked all that. Yeah, that's all that What was your favorite coin that you had? Or still have? Well, gold. 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 My gold fever. Gold, gold fever. Gold fever, baby. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Okay, Alex, we got a lot of stuff in here. Like, it's it's full. It's a big 12 foot trailer, but I, yeah, I, I mean, feel it, like. It tells you better when you look at trailers inside. Like, the whole thing's full because it's brand new. That's nuts, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Chase's tires aren't flat, but I mean, we're definitely pretty weighed down. Uh, That's a lot. I mean, I'm kind of, yeah. I mean, I don't want to say I'm worried, but yeah, I mean, his vans. Yeah, okay. I had a, I have a, I have another barn behind this barn attached to there. And uh -huh. I had a pool of stuff and I brought it all up here. Huh. There's everything in there from Lincoln Logs to. <laughs> George Washington's hat, I don't know. <laughs> All right, come on. So Ron is taking us to the second barn. That's only the first barn. Al pal, that's only the first barn. <laughs> He's taking Chase over there right now. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside. Nuts. Oh, Junior's coming. Oh my gosh. one of them cars. Well, everything on this whole row on the side here, there is all packed up. You got a big enough safe? Yeah, I think you need a bigger one. I don't think that's a little one. Yeah. Found <laughs> them up in the attic. Okay. This is a daisy, brand new daisy. Wow. We got it all. I have Batman. Oh, that Sign? was on my store. I had that out in the front of the store, an A-frame. Yeah. The guy designed that for me. He said, 100 bucks, I'll make you in two of the best signs. Fringe, Fringe, Prince Albert? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, my negotiator. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I think now is the time. They're going to negotiate. 
So guys, now is the time. Uh, Chase and Ron are negotiating. Um, and I think we're gonna give this to him. That's it's big. Yeah. That's super, super cool. So for, for those that know about coins, um, this is graded by a company called PCGS. Um, this is an MS63 plus. Um, the highest you can get is MS70. And on a coin like this from 1927, almost 100 years old, that is really a pretty hard thing to get. End of August. You gotta be there too. First, yeah, first and first out of it. Yeah, so there's 5,000 in this one, 10,000 in this one. All right. Okay, and then you look at everything. I won't even touch the money. I'll put it away and we'll talk next time I see you. Yeah, I mean, that could be too little. It could be too much. I'll I'll let you know. I told her all we can do. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, we'll make it good. I'm, you know, I'm not that way. I, I got one more thing for you. What's that? From the, from the first deal we did, see, this is an example of me working it out later, but we did a little bit, a little better than I thought we would. Okay. And I know you, you had a deal that got away, so I wanted to get that for you. Uh-oh. When did you buy that? I've had it for a few months now. Oh, okay. Been waiting Wait, to visit sure? you. Time, Are you sure? I, I'm positive. Oh, I appreciate that. That's you why said I'm now you, can, you, now you can't sell it. I want you to keep that one. <laughs> well, I do. I, yeah. know, I, I did a pull with the other 25. Perfect. I, love I remember it. You, you told me there was a I set from. The, yeah. You said there was a set from uh, the yeah. 1920s that somebody came in with 100. No, yeah. 140 of them. 40. The old guy come in, I told you. Yeah. He comes in with a like, crap mouse stank. Bartle did. I can't wait. To know. I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't give a stank. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he opened up that case, and I think I've still peed in my pants at, at the point. That, I pulled him out. There's my cat. There you go. Is that kitty? Mountain lion. <laughs> Anyways, I says, uh, I'm looking at the price of $39.95, $29.99. That's what I paid for him back in the day when I was buying some. Mm -hmm. I said, where'd you get all these? And my grandfather passed away. So there's 40. I said, I'll give you $40,000 cash right now. I, I scared him. I Ball lick of the sticky. <laughs> I really, and I don't know you. Crap mouse stank. <laughs> yeah, Bartle do. That day, you asked me about the yeah. big one. The big one got away. Yeah. You know, all my sister, we got to split it. I said, that's it. Games. Oh, I never heard from him again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Hey, hey you guys, you appreciate good. it, too. I'll take care. I got a surprise for you, too. Not today. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I got some more stuff I found. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as these things with Ron always go, this will not be the last time we see him. The feeling is a little excited, a little overwhelmed. I gave him a, a big stack of cash, $15,000. We're just kind of going to figure it out, work it into the next deal, however it goes. He'll probably give me a month or so to move some of this stuff, but we already know we're going to have to do a video on that because this is going to be very interesting. A lot of stuff I haven't dealt with before. It's going to be a quite the learning experience, a lot of different categories, a lot of trains, a lot of puppets, a lot of just really random nice stuff. And I'm excited. But before we move on to the next order of business, Ron invited us inside so we can get a sneak peek at what we'll be picking up next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Right on. Well, and then I want these cases here. I, I don't know, you told me you might want the train case. Yeah. Yeah, this way. Mm -hmm. I have to pack those off. I found the boxes for these. It's right there. I have these little blue box, the coin boxes you saw, the little blue ones. Mm -hmm. These all went in the box. Ah, okay. You can have that case too. It might again, because like I, I told you, I bought fifty thousand video games from one one barn that we yeah, showed yeah, up. Yeah, 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 from that guy. Yep. So. And I know I just bought a barn full of fifty thousand games. Am I crazy for buying two more barns full of trains? We're staying busy. No, everything's yeah. everything's here. I I yep. I'm not gonna try to pack it. You gotta pack it. Yeah, for sure. Because in those cases, you can have those too. They're beautiful for it. Yeah, I found those in the boxes. Hey, those three boxes, I found them in the, buried in the back. Wow. Nice. I'm too busy working on coins and things. So yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> And just when I thought we were done, Ron surprised me with one more box. One more box. <laughs> one more box. Uh, well, it's one more. One more box. Yeah, got something else for you. Oh, shoot. Mixture of <gasps> games, games, games. What? There's more stuff. Um, there we go. Ron, you never failed to amaze me. Oh, I'm a 
Don't knock this. Just a bunch of random antennas. I'll take it. Yeah, this would be a random, random stock. Yeah. That's my department right there. <laughs> Homeward bound. Hopefully we make it in that minivan. Yep. yep. All right. Get, get out of here. You guys got traffic, maybe. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Well, we'll see you. Have a good one. And like that, we are done with Ron for today. This is day one. We made the two and a half hour journey back home and checked to see if the trailer was still intact. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Woo. We're exhausted. It is now 90, uh, feels like it's 94. Wow, it is very thick out here. And uh, that's just at a first glance. Let's, uh... Could be a lot worse. Oh, that did really well. We only lost was one just... box. Hey, that's gonna be it for this one, but subscribe for the next one where we figure out what the heck we're gonna do with all this stuff. It's gonna be crazy.